It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 4th of October. I'm James Spann. Cold front coming in from the northwest. Tropical storm Karen coming up from the south. Interesting weekend forecast. A lot of questions. And as always, we'll see if we can give you some answers. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, big picture this morning. And you can see the players on the field. A full wave trough. Upper trough over the western United States. Full latitude trough. And that's producing all kind of inclement weather with that thing. And then we've got uh, tropical storm Karen in the Gulf. Man, look at that. Uh, winter storm warnings. Even some blizzard warnings, it looks like. Those counties in red, upper parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wyoming. That's going to be a really big mess out there. Uh, here's a look at the modeling on the snow. And you can see the heavier snow through much of Wyoming into parts of northwest Nebraska and the western half of South Dakota. That's a whopper of an early season snow for early October. This is suggesting some folks out there could see well over one foot. All right, severe weather in advance of that in the warm sector. Look at that moderate risk of severe weather today for parts of Iowa and some of the adjacent states. Then the standard slight risk surrounds that from Oklahoma up toward Minneapolis, St. Paul and Madison, Wisconsin. And you see where it says see text over southeast Louisiana. That's with the initial feeder bands from Karen where there might be some risk of a small spinoff tornado down there tonight. Now, this is tomorrow as we start the weekend. We've got the standard slight risk of severe weather that would include Milwaukee, Chicago, Indianapolis, then down toward Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Uh, no formal risk here, but again, as Karen approaches on the immediate coast, we'll have to watch for any sign of small isolated tornadoes. And this is day three, which is Sunday. Again, there's a risk of severe weather in advance of the trough up north, much of Ohio and some of the adjacent states. And uh, you can see down below that we've got a 5% chance of severe weather here on Sunday. And, uh, you know, with tropical systems, expect the unexpected. We say that uh, like with thunderstorms, but uh, the odds of real problems are fairly small here. But Anytime you've got a tropical system coming in, interacting with a cold front supported by a trough, you'll have to watch for signs of storm rotation, those small isolated tornadoes and any spiral banding features. So we'll be watching the radar carefully on Sunday. This is the projected rain for the next five days coming from WPC. Uh, valid through Wednesday morning of next week. And the numbers are close to five inches on the immediate coast uh, for Mobile and Pensacola and Destin. And uh, the amounts are lighter as come up this way, showing about one and a quarter to one and a half inches here. And then the amounts are heavier again from near Memphis back up toward Indianapolis along the front. And uh, drawing a QPF chart like this is very hard to do uh, with a tropical system involved and you don't know the structure yet. Let's just go ahead and look at this thing. Uh, Karen is very discombobulated this morning. The circulation center is displaced away from the convection, which means there's shearing going on. The winds aloft are changing direction with altitude, and that is not good for, a, for development. And the other problems it's got, we've talked about this, there's dry air clearly on the western side of the circulation that's wrapping into that, and the sea surface temperatures are cooler as this thing advances north. Sure, the, the water can support a tropical storm, but uh, it just doesn't look good, and I firmly think this thing will stay well under hurricane strength. Uh, modeling very consistent. Uh, most all the models take the track up through southeast Alabama. Here's the intensity guidance. And uh, really, I think this thing has peaked. Uh, you got a couple of models try and bump it up to a Category 1 hurricane. But generally speaking, the, the intensity trend is downward. And, of course, once it gets inland, it uh, will lose its tropical characteristics and merge with that front. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they're a little slower here based on the modeling. The models have slowed down, so now they bring it up toward the mouth of the Mississippi River around Plaquemines Parish just after midnight tomorrow night, then coming up toward Mobile Bay early Sunday morning, and then it should be a point near Columbus, Georgia late Sunday night. But the slower motion certainly bodes well for the Auburn football game, as you'll see. We'll talk about that. Let's get in here and take a look. Uh, this is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. 
big trough in the west, you can see, and down below that. That is a nasty-looking mid-latitude storm there, surface low over Nebraska, and you can see the pressure gradient. The isobars are packed as tight as they'll ever get. Howling winds, uh, blizzard conditions where it's cold enough for snow back in through there. And then in the warm sector east of that thing, severe storms are possible this evening and tonight. We had a few tornadoes last night in Nebraska with this. And then down to the south, you've got uh, uh, Karen in the Gulf. Let's check the uh, high-res NAM. This is valid at 7 o'clock this evening. Thinking about high school football games tonight. Most all stadiums should be dry. This is suggesting there could be maybe a shower or two on the western side of the state. So, again, the chance of rain tonight, not zero, but most stadiums ought to be okay. And if we do see a shower, the better chance over West Alabama. All right, weekend fans, this is tomorrow at 1 o'clock. That big old surface low, that uh, wrapped up cyclone up there is not moving much. And again, this is suggesting the day will be dry Saturday for the most part here. We're not, we're, look, we're going to mention the chance of isolated showers, but by that we mean most folks will not be wet. Uh, you got Karen down in the Gulf. Let's look at the uh, high res NAM. This is 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, showing showers over Middle Tennessee. The initial feeder bands with Karen coming up into uh, Louisiana and Mississippi. But really, the bulk of the day Saturday for most of Alabama, even down on the Gulf Coast, Saturday morning looks dry. So for the Alabama Ole Miss game, the chance of a shower, very, very small. It's not zero, but it's very small. Homecoming parade in Tuscaloosa, I think, will be A-OK. -okay. okay, this is Saturday evening off the NAM, 7 o'clock. Boy, the news is uh, great for Auburn with the slower motion of this thing. Auburn Ole Miss kicks off at 6 o'clock. A very good chance the big rains come in way after the game. So like Tuscaloosa will mention, just the chance of an isolated shower, but I think most of that game will be dry. And let's go to uh, Sunday. This is back off the uh, GFS. Cold front coming in from the northwest. GFS is farther east, and it's slow, very slow with Karen, and it's an outlier. Karen uh, is probably going to be farther west than that. Let's, and I think this scenario is right. This is the NAM, valid uh, Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock, and it's got a soaking rain falling over much of the state. Moisture from Karen interacting with the front. Just a wet, breezy, rainy day. And uh, I do believe that is the right solution. We'll play that in the forecast. Uh, this is the uh, WPC chart showing where the heavy rain will be from Karen. Uh, the purple colors, that would represent amounts of over two inches of rain. And uh, we noticed got a band up there near Memphis with a cold front of maybe two inches. But for most of inland Alabama, say north of US 84, uh, the amounts would be under two inches. And we'll say about one inch for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden Sunday with the heavier totals to the south and to the northwest. So Sunday, a breezy, rainy day. Monday, it's out of here. Uh, we start to see a nice, refreshing change of drier continental air. Highs drop in the 70s, and Tuesday will be gorgeous. Uh, again, I think many spots will be in the upper 40s to start the day, the high in the 70s. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, great weather. Just really what you expect in October. Here's a week from today, another big storm out there in the uh, uh, plains. Big surface low that's on the uh, Nebraska, North Dakota, or South Dakota border. But not a lot of cold air with that. That would be mostly rain up there. But we stay dry. So all of next week looks good. Let's check the end of the forecast. What do you say? This is the 19th. Westerly's a bit north of here. And if that's right, that would be very dry and very pleasant. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless.